Greetings! In the previous lessons, we learned how to set up a bill of resources and completed a product costing. Now let's move on to the production planning. During this lesson, we'll review the basic planning principles and create a production plan. According to the marketing forecast, the monthly production plan for the current year is as follows. In this example, we'll create a production plan manually. We'll also examine some of the important details to consider when implementing the planning model. This is a part of the planning subsystem. As we remember from our lessons of stage 1, planning scenario should be created in the system for planning, which determines planning frequency and planning options, as well as plan profile that defines planning rules. Let's create a production plan scenario. Go to Budgeting and Planning, Settings and Catalogs, Inventory Planning, Planning Scenarios, and click Create. Type in the description, Production, Month. Because we are to create a production plan for a month, select Frequency, Month. Now go to the Creation Settings tab and select the Production Plans checkbox. In the Calendar field, select the current business calendar. Click the Setup Plan Profile hyperlink next to the Production Plans checkbox. Type in the description Production Plan Month. Because we are to set up the production plan manually, select Simple Population option using formula. Now we need to choose a plan option Substitute Accumulative. Let's examine both of these concepts in more detail. When the substitute option is selected, the new plan replaces the previous plan. It's best used for rolling focus. It means moving the focus horizon forward to new periods by adding recent data and perhaps dropping the oldest data. We don't use rolling focus, so select cumulative. Next, we need to define the default number of periods. To do this, set the number of default periods field to 1. If you know in advance which dispatcher department will process the production order, you should enable the corresponding functional option. When creating a plan, we'll specify the dispatcher department, and it will be used as the default department when creating production documents. Now let's create a production plan. To do this, go to Budgeting and Planning. Inventory Planning, Production Plans, and click Create, Scenario, Production, Month, Period, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. Now go to the Products tab and fill it in with the data according to the plan. We will fill in the production plan manually. We started how to fill in plans using calculation at stage 1. Fill in the data for 12 months according to the plan yourself. We we'll already done it off screen. Set the status to confirmed. Click Post and Close. Let's see the production plan for this year. Go to Budgeting and Planning, Budgeting and Planning Reports, and open the Production Plan Fulfillment by Departments report. Select the period and scenario production month. Click Run Report. This displays our plan for the period. Also, we can check whether our company is fulfilling the plan. So, today we created the production plan which we are going to fulfill in the next lessons. Congratulations! This concludes our lesson. Thank you for your attention.